Hi guys, this is Medjo Boy. Um, I'm here right now in UC Med. Um, I had um, like fever for the past three days. I didn't have running nose. Uh, my cough just started. So, I uh, have test ako dito laboratory test lang like uh, X-ray, CBC, and urine. Uh, sa barangay na ako magpa-test na swab. So let's, let's hope for the best. video this is something to do with why I was out for most three weeks uh, in YouTube and we'll talk about that one in a bit before we proceed I'd like to apologize first for the background noise because I'm here right now in the lobby so I couldn't do it inside our unit because my boyfriend is sleeping so I need to do it uh, outside for those who are new to my channel please do not forget to click the subscribe button hit the notification bell and to like uh, if you like this video or you can do thumbs down that's not a problem at all you can also leave comment on the comment section below i would like also to say thank you as well to the members of my community first member of my community to kishi farm japan second member is esika yo thank you so much third member is akuya vino and the fourth member is lisa bongs thank you so much guys for joining for those who haven't joined you can click the join button it's very affordable and there's a lot of perks that i can offer you know that so let's get into the topic for today yes it was midweek of july when it all started basically it all started with fever like fever of course sunday i didn't mind it because you know we all got fever fever but with this situation with the current situation right now it's really very difficult kung magkaka fever tayo. So, nag monitor ako. So, I have a friend um, from work, si PJ, supervisor namin sa work, and then yung girlfriend niya is a nurse. So, si Miss Makan, si Jeline, uh, Jeline Makan, I hope I pronounce your name, Jeline, uh, is a nurse. So, she's the one who did monitor my temperature. So, every four hours, kumukuha kami ng temperature to check exactly on, you know, my body temperature. And, and then yung gamot ko lang, at that time was only paracetamol so every four hours i have to wake up i have to get temperature i need to set my alarm every four hours for the temperature again i, I, I didn't mind it however yung lagnat ko started like 37 it went up then it went down then it went up again and it went down. I started to, to worry. The first day when I started nakalagnat, I was also worried. First time ko na nag CR, went to the CR. Sorry po sa mga kumakain ngayon CR. And you know what? Yung, you know, yung waste ko is, I can't, I, I can't explain. Bakit ganon yung waste ko? It's totally dark. Like, yung kulay na itim na itim like if you're eating pusit pusit yun, squid uh, yung ata ng squid ata may tawag siya sa, sa bisaya so yung kakulay siya ng dunga or ng ata ng squid so, I was a little bit worried because that was exactly my first time na yung waste ko is talagang ganun ka itim and it's not a solid waste it was a liquid so parang nag ELDM ako and then color black so na worried ako at first yung first ko na ano pumunta sa CR uh, I didn't mind it but it was then succeeding na not really like succeeding na sunod sunod but there's a gap na because I normally do go to the washroom like three times a day only um but that was like 
almost an hour ata yun uh, so pulled ako and then din ako kasi it's really all black it's all black and I, I, I don't know what I did kasi nawala din siya nawala like um, I guess based on what I have read it's really the first uh, you know first things first of those things na lumalabas kapag may kanil kang sakit yun na on the following day I guess following the day na ba yun or let's put it this way uh, nag start na yun nawala nawala yung am pangamoy ko I can smell but not that uh, yung normal smell so say for example yung pabango yung pabango ko if I have if I put it in my if I put it in like dito lagay ko lang hindi ko ma maamoy but when I'm gonna do that like but near sa 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 ano near sa uh, ilong ko I can smell it and then yung panglasa ko started na naman uh, started naman na, na wala I then started to worry I informed my sisters my family my cousins because that was also the time that my tito was in the hospital already because of the illness as well but I'm not living with my tito so it's a totally different story ayun na uh, na monitor na ako ng, ng, ng temperature or my sisters were uh, keep on calling me every now and then to monitor kung ano na nangyari this is exactly what I did and then this is also the advice of most of the people I'm not sure for any scientific reason but this is exactly you know what I did when I started losing yung pang amoy at saka pang lasa so I started na yung tuog or soap that's water inhalation uh, I also had this ginger lemon tea kasi it's how ng tito recommended mag ginger lemon tea ako yun nga so I started doing those things pero yung lagnat ko hindi nawala so let put it this way yung lagnat ako nawala yung lagnat ko like from 8 to 12 wala akong lagnat after 12, meron na naman akong lagnat. So, I was really a little bit worried kasi bakit ganun yung lagnat ko nag oh, on on and off yung lagnat ko. So, my nurse told me, just continue what you're doing. Tinom ka ng paracetamol. Naglagay ako ng tower sa noon na malamig. So, para yung bumaba yung fever ko. We were starting to worry kasi hindi talaga bumaba yung I mean, yung lagnat ko nag, nag on and off na. And then, nawala na ako ng, nawala na ako ng pangamoy. Nawala na ako ng panlasa. Okay? Nawala na ako ng pangamoy na wala ng panglasa. So, I can't even taste. Um, and I can't even smell. But, I still continue to eat. Kumain talaga ako. Um, like, yung talagang normal eating. But, 3 to 5 subo, uh, kumakain talaga ako para at least to give energy to my body. That's also what I believe. That you need to have energy. Uh, kahit nilalagnat ka para at least yung body mo is you know makakapagbigay din ng energy at you will be you will not feel weak or it comes Wednesday on the third day I went to the hospital kasi my nurse uh, nag-advise nag akin na if hindi pa talaga bababa yung lagnat mo uh, at hindi mawala yung lag lagnat mo after a third day please visit and ch have yourself checked which I did Hi guys, this is Metro Boy. Um, I'm here right now in UC Med. Um, I had um, like fever for the past three days. I didn't have running nose. Uh, my cough just started. So, I'm uh, going test ako dito, laboratory test lang like uh, x ray, CBC, and urine. Uh, sa barangay na ako magpa test na swab. Well, let's hope for the best. Kasi, I was also worried. Like, imagine, my body temperature went up to 39.9. Almost 49. I, I was so worried. Kasi, hindi talaga ako nilalagnat ng mga ganyan. If nilalagnat ako, uh, like, 37, 38, yun na That 39, I can, I'm, I was really worried. Uh, hindi ko lang pinahalata na, you know, worried ako sa mga kapatid ko. But I was worried kasi, my God, it's 39, it's almost 40. And the normal temperature is almost 36, right? I mean, 36.6 to 
tama ba ko? Just let me know if uh, I'm tama. So, hindi nawala yung lagnat ko. So, that Wednesday morning, wala akong lagnat. At nung madaling araw, hindi lagnat ako. But nawala yung lagnat ko Wednesday morning. But I still went to Yosemite. So, I went to Yosemite. Uh, Yosemite, I'm here, is so near na malapit ang hospital. So, I walked there. When I went to the hospital, nagpa-check up ako, my temperature was okay. Imagine my temperature was okay. My oxygen count, kasi parang kin, may something sila na kinuha sa akin to, to check if kumusta yung oxygen ko sa, law, sa, sa body ko. And um, the nurse also said that my oxygen is is okay. So you know what, nagpa-check up ako. So doon ako sa emergency, nagpa-check up. You know what guys, I was really exposed there. Na-exposed talaga ako because in the emergency area, yun yung may mga sakit. Nakakita talaga ako ng pasyente na nilagay sa wheelchair na nilagyan ng like cellophane or like plastic uh, to cover themselves and uh, to separate themselves uh, from the nurse, something like that. Yung mga pasyente doon na naka, nasa bed na nilagyan talaga na yung bed mo, parang ginawan kang bahay yung bed, nilagyan na. I can probably get some clips over the neck pakita po kung what I'm trying to describe. I'm not sure if my video ako, but if I do have video, kasi I, I tried to do video noong nandun ako sa hospital. But I, I was so nahiya doing video na may maraming pasyente doon. So, yun. I'm not sure if uh, na-capture ba yun, but I'll try to post it there later. So, yun na nga. Napacheck up ako doon sa hospital. Nagpa-CBC ako kung kinuha ako ng dugo at check at x-ray. But before that, sinabihan muna ako kasi bago ako sa work, we don't have yet insurance. Wala akong insurance, so I have to shell out. Sabi ng nurse na, this would be expensive, which it was really expensive. Yosemite itself took advantage of me. See, they charged me for PPE worth 2,000 pesos. I did not use PPE. Yung doctor na nag-asikaso sa akin and the nurse, they were already wearing PPE. So, why I was charged for PPE. That's why I was really like, put it this way. When I asked for the bill, pinakita lang yung the amount. I was shocked when I was thinking na yung babayaran ko was only 2,000 and it went to 4,000. Ha? How come ganito? Yung nurse at asikaso sa akin did not provide me the breakdown of the charges. Hindi ko na lang din pinansin yun. Uh, so nag-biden ako because I want to escape out from from that area kasi nga exposed na ako. Pagkatapos kong nagbayad, before ako nagbayad guys, uh, sinabihan mo na ako nga, uh, this is the result, yung lungs ko daw madumi. But they haven't shown me my x-ray. So again, nagpa-CBC ako, nagpa-urine ako, nagpa-exit test ako, just to be safe. So ngayon, binigyan ako ng resita, binigyan ako ng antibacterial, yung sa ubo. By the way guys, I did not have ubo. Wala akong ubo. Like, I have ubo pro dry cough, and not that lala. Uh, hindi takil yung <coughs> ganun, ganun. At binigyan ako for the flame to be, to be real. Yun yung uh, binigay na gamot. And then, paracetamol, which I already had. Paracetamol. Dalawa lang yung binilig sa counter. Yun nga, so, nagbayad ako ng 4,000 and only to figure out bakit 4,000 siya. Na-receive ko na yung receipt at saka non-over sa akin ng doktor. So, hindi pala nurse yung nagbigay sa akin na this is the amount you need to pay. It was a nurse. Ah, uh, it was a doctor. Sa ko yung breakdown, my God, ko I was siya. Sabi ko sa ko, my God, that's the reason why 4,000 yung bill ko kasi nilagyan lang pipi. So, hospital na take advantage. Hindi na lang ako nag-complain doon kasi may pagkukomplain ako, mas matatagalan ako doon, mas ma-expose ako doon. So, yun na nga, umuwi ako dito sa apart. When I went back here, wala talaga akong lagnat. Since I went to the hospital, I decided to clean up myself. Like, naligo ako, which I I did. Like, on the first day, the second day, the third day of my my lagnat, naligo talaga ako. Because every time na magkakalagnat ako, or I feel sick, naliligo talaga ako. That's my my practice. But, uh, linalagnat ako, I need to make sure that uh, I'll take a bath. Kasi, that's para ma-release din yung init at saka, um, like, makukul down yung body ko. So, okay na, naligo ako. So, wala akong lagnat. Not until 2 or 3 hours after, nilagnat ulit ako. I was worried kasi, kala ko okay na ako. Yun pala, nilagnat ulit ako. And then, so, after 4 hours, nawala yung lagnat ko. Nag-take ako ng paracetamol. After 4 hours, nawala yung lagnat ko. So, that was Wednesday. That Wednesday night, nag-duty ako kasi wala nga akong lagnat ko. So, I decided to work on that particular night. Sa kalagitnaan ng work ko, so, I work at 11 p.m. again. A little bit worried kasi, hiningal ako ng salita. And, mind you, I still have time before I'll call another client or papasokan ako ng call. So, yun, hiningal ako. Like, I can't... I don't know what's going on. Kasi, wala akong lagnat. Pero, 
hinihinga lang ako. Like, pag nagsasalita ako sa client, like, I need to stop. I need to stop first. And then, salita naman. And then, to stop. And yun yung observant ko sa kalagitnaan ng shift ko. Until the end of my shift. Uh, not particular. And then, here comes, uh, well, by the end of my shift ko, ata yun, I was just witnessing something. When my sister called in, she checked with me kung okay na ako. And she noticed na hinihingal talaga ako. So, nag-alibay lang ako. And that's probably because uh, may ano ako, may, may ubo. At wala ako hanggang take out yung ubo ko dry cuff. And I believe hindi siya talaga siya nakakapahinap. Yun na, hinihingal ako. So, my sister was worried kasi hinihingal ako. Sabi ng sister ko, would you like to go to the hospital? Ako oh, no. Hindi ako magpapa-admit. Reason why? Because I don't have an insurance. Second is, I don't want to be exposed. Yun yung discussion namin. So, natulog ako. Tumatawag na pala sa akin. They were worried because I didn't answer your call. So, they were thinking kung napaano na ako. Kasi tumatawag na nga po. Tumatawag na nga sila. And my sister, the last time that we talked with my sister, hinihingal ako. So she called in my cousin, my tito, called in a barangay health worker dito sa amin. Pinapunta dito sa, sa, sa apartment ko. At saka yung cousin ko, uh, who is in a rescue, pumunta din dito to check on. So yun, kinuha na ako ng temperature ng barangay health worker. And their temperature was okay. Okay ako, wala akong lamnat. Uh, but my, my temperature, yung own temperature ko, may lagnat ako. I really don't know the difference between the, the gun, the gun temperature, and the temperature that nilalagay natin. There's really like variance, I would say. Kasi uh, nung nang ginaggan ako, nila wala akong lagnat. Pero nung nagkuha ko noon, may, may, may a little bit lagnat ako. Munta yung cousin ko dito, nag-check so from rescue, at saka yung barangay health workers, dalawa sila, nakapipi sila. Uh, they asked me kung you know, na-check sila, yung gano'n mga normal questions. Um, kailan ka ninagnat, uh, gano'n. But pinakita ko sa kanila yung resita ko. Uh, uh, I already had this uh, resita galing sa doctor kasi nagpa-check ako uh, on Wednesday and Thursday nga yun, yung, yung event na pumunta dito. So, okay. So, um, yun lang. Okay. And then they asked me if nagpa-swab na ba ako. Sabi ko, hindi. Uh, I need your assistance para magpa-swab. Magpa-swab ako. Uh, ayun. So, hindi ako nakapag-swab doon sa hospital kasi the worth 10,000 pesos. And yung barangay yung mag-organize. Yung barangay sana ang mag-organize na magpa magpa-swab ako. And hindi sila pumunta dito. Hindi sila na-communicate sa akin para magpa-swab ako. Uh, so, what I did was, I did try to, um, kasi may free swab yung Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center, PMCC. Or si, basta yun, yun lang yun. I don't know the exact name. May free swab sila. Free yun. Kasi government. But you need to go there. So, I decided not to go. My sister did uh, did call me and they, they told me what to do. And a lot of my friends from Facebook also you know, sent out messages this is uh, what you kind of need to do and on the on the particular day what they did nagpapakawis talaga i did the sumba so again hinihingal ako um, on the particular morning hinihingal ako so that's why i decided to sleep my sisters uh, my cousin were were keep on calling me na hindi ko sinagot kaya tuloy pumunta sa dito so no check sa akin and then uh, I, i was okay like yung lagnat ko is okay lang uh, pero hinihingal ako and my friends asked me na uh, ano magpapa-admit tayo no, uh, hindi ako magpapa-admit. I'm just okay. I'll just stay here. Uh, so, right after they went out, uh, what I did was nagsumba ako para mawala yung or para magpapawakis ako. And then, I still continue to eat. Pero nga, 3 to 4 spoon lang yung kinakain. And then, nag-continue din ako ng soho or ng tuho. Yun yung ginawa ko. So, continue lang, continue. And the good thing is, right after ko nagpapawakis, wala yung lagnat. Imagine that. Someone also told me, nag-PM sa akin na do a uh, exhale and inhale exercise para sa, uh, sa para sa hingal mo. So, which I did. So, on the first, first minutes ng Zumba ko, talagang hinihingal ako. Hinihingal. Like, hinihingal talaga. So, nag-inhale, exhale, inhale, and you know what, guys? Masakit dito. Like, uh, pag hinihingal ka pala, masakit pala dito. If you do the inhale, exhale, masakit. As in, promise. Uh, Sabi ko, sorry, oh my God, what's going on? I can't do the inhale, exhale, kasi masakit. Um, but I keep, you know, I keep, I force it. I mean, I force myself. I'm not sure if that was masama or mas laba. Mas I, I force myself na inhale, exhale, ganon. Like when I'm doing my, my Zumba, yun yun talaga. And, you know, I was so lucky. Because... Uh, 
eventually yung yung lungs ko yung body ko by doing the inhaled exhale on the particular day nag cooperate nawala yung hingal ko and nawala din yung lagnat ko imagine nawala yung lagnat ko when I, I did a sumba pagkatapos na kumain ako at nagpahinga na tulog at every now and then nagsasuob din ako nag again, nag water inhalation ako two times in a day ako nag water inhalation from morning and evening nag ginger tea din ako ginger tea din and ginger lemon tea din ako morning uh, evening or every time na kumakain ako kasi wala akong panlasa so I used the ginger tea to help me out para makakakain ako ng maayos yun, yun nga, wala yung lagnat then the following day, hindi lagnat na naman ako hindi na ako nihingal so yun, hindi, hindi na ako nihingal, wala na, wala na akong cough meron na akong cough pero again, dry cough wala akong dry cough lang siya that was on fifth day, fifth day. yung lagnat ko pa rin was on and off, on and off yung lagnat ko and then continue na ako ng medication ng paracetamol may antibacterial lang ako so hindi ako worried kasi may antibacterial ako yung ubo ko hindi siya talaga nabuo na yung ubo na may pima wala, wala akong ganun yung lagnat ko was still on and off because um, hindi ako nakapag duty ng, ng Monday so Tuesday nawala siya uh, nawala siya talaga tuluyan and then Wednesday kasi nakapag-duty na, nakapag na ako. Middle week, that following week, yung Wednesday of the following week, wala, nawala yung lagnat ko. So, the question here is, was am I really positive with COVID? You know what? That's still a big question mark. Why? Because I didn't have myself checked. Uh, why you haven't checked yourself, Medjo Boy? Because, again, I was so afraid to go back to this hospital kasi ma-exposed na naman ako. I was already exposed. And I don't want to get it worse. The symptoms were there. Yung nawala yung amoy, pang amoy mo, nawala yung panglasa mo. Yung hinihingal ka. Because, you know, yung lungs yung tinitira niya. But the good thing there is that nag-antibiotic ako. Naagapan siya kaagad. And uh, I guess yung immune system ko was really fighting for it. And myself as well was fighting for it. Uh, why you said I was fighting for it? Because, you know, when when I was sick, hindi talaga ako na like yung nasa sa bed lang nakahiga. You know? uh, so, yung start na nang ako, and when someone told me na magpapapawis ka, I did. Magpapapawis talaga ako. And I exercise talaga ako. What I'm trying to say is that I I did fight for it. Kasi may napanood ako yung interview ni Margaret. The nurse was positive, asymptomatic, but eventually nagka-symptoms siya. Yeah. So what she did exactly was to do the exercise. And that, that's also what I did. Nag-exercise ako, nag-double dose ako ng vitamins, vitamin C. Yeah, I keep myself busy. And the good thing as well as my family members were always there. My sister keeps on calling me, bagging me to, to check. I'm so tapula and like, I'm so lazy doing the soho. Because you need to put water and gagalan mo But she forced me to do. Uh, because na, yeah, nakaka, nakaka, nakakatulong na siya para yung circulation ng pangamuhi mo, circulation sa bahay mo. So, I, I, I did those. Uh, kasi, kasi nga, I, I want to be back on normal. Gusto ko a normal yung life ko. So, yun. Yun yung, yung story ng life ko. And I'm so thankful. Tatanungin nyo. I would say, I was really dead positive. You know, pag linalang kita ko, hindi talaga talaga ako nawawala ng pangamoy nawawala tayo ng panlasa pero not that ganun nawala talaga, nawala talaga yung panlasa ko nawala yung pangamoy ko I, I, I told myself I can't this is it this is it na talaga like ito na ito na yun Lord so I ask God na Lord if if this is it if this is your plan for me then let it be but if you you know if I can fight for it then let it be as well Lord so, yes binigyan ako ni Lord na ng ganun fighting spirit you know yung mga sisters ko keep calling me ano eh magpa-admit na kayo kung ano eh hindi ko hindi talaga ako magpa-admit hindi ko magpa-admit kasi I don't want to be exposed I, I'm still okay God kakayanan ko so I just need to do this and, that, and that's all and good thing kasi alam ko eh alam ko yung yung body resistance ko can fight for it because alam ko kasi na I'm you know yung immune system ko talaga is very strong very strong yung immune system ko kasi hindi nga ako nagkakasakit ng like in a, in in three years four years or five years hindi ako nagkakasakit hindi ako madaling magkakaupo or what's not so alam ko yun na nga but it's a sad experience not for me but for for our family because we lost our tito my tito was COVID positive and then nagkakomplikasyon it was very difficult for us 
you know, we really did not expect that. So, yung tito ko was admitted in the hospital Saturday at and then on Sunday, yun ako nag-start na ako naman yung may ganong symptoms. But again, we... I and my tito are living separately. I'm in Sako apartment and I'm in Sako It was so sad na ganun yung nangyari. But we accept the reality of life. We just have to. You know what the sad part there is? We didn't even have the time to, to, to see him. We didn't even have the time to, to hug him. We didn't even have the time to say thank you to a word tito. We saw that one as God's way of it's really God's plan uh, and there's nothing else that we can do that we just need to accept the fact and the reality and we just have to move on. It's really sad that uh, hindi man nakikin lang kayo makapaglamay kasi I mean my titus then body needs to be cremated because nga sa ganun. But anyhow, yeah, yeah, we just need to move on. One thing that I, I would like to share to our viewers, you know, when you are sick, huwag kang mawawala ng, ng loob. Uh, wag kang mawawala ng tagasa. Reach out to your friends, to your loved ones to comfort me. Kasi negativity will bring you down. And tsaka pray. Just always pray. And please be ready kung whatever the, uh, the outcome of that. Put everything in God's hand. But please also be, be ready. If that sickness nag-level up, I guess I'm not here anymore. So I would say that prepare yourself. Kasi we don't know exactly when tayo kukunin ng Lord. Me, I have this thinking kasi na that's something that you you always be ready. Kasi, pag sabi na ni Lord na kukuli na kita, hindi ko na say no. Please ready. And one thing is, be safe always. If wala talaga kayong gagawa, wala talaga kayong bibili sa labas or something like that, please do not go out of your home. Your home, I would say, is the safest place on earth right now. I don't know, saan ko nakuha yun? If you have questions, saan ko nakuha? I really don't know. It's just that every day ako lumalabas kasi I have to buy food. We only cook rice. Hindi kasi kami nagluluto because we don't have the equipment. And aside from nan, mga nga mo yung, yung buong unit namin. Studio type kasi yung unit namin. Yan na yung masishare ko. That was the reason why I was out in YouTube. And I'm so grateful because I have friends who did pray for me. Na overwhelmed din ako kasi there were a lot who then sent out personal messages. And you know, kaya mo yan. You, keep fighting and and those are the things that we need para matanggal yung negativity it's really still a question for my covid ako or wala but whatever was that COVID, what i could say is i'm good now i'm healthy i can eat well i'm back to normal so back to business din tayo dito sa kayo i guess that would be it and thank you so much again guys for your time for listening please do comment sa comment section natin and again please join me in my membership club just click that join button below and shout out again to my members kishi from japan esikayo kuya vino and liz bongs Thank you so much guys. Leave comment please and continue on subscribing. This is the new friend with your boy. Bye!